Hi everyone, welcome back. Hope all of you are doing super well and this is another video with some information I wanted to share with you. So did you know that Facebook was actually fined with a fine of 1.2 billion euros and why? Because they actually breached the GDPR compliance regulations. So according to the European Data Protection Board, they have said that this is almost the largest fine that was ever paid for breaching GDPR guidelines. So what was actually this uh, you know, breach that happened? So um, Facebook was actually transferring personal information of European citizens to the United States based on some standard um, contractual clauses. So um, this was actually deemed unlawful. Okay. So according to the GDPR um, guidelines and act, of course, yes, personal data can be transferred to, you know, international countries. Okay. Based that it has certain safety gu guidelines and safeguards and also effective legal remedies for transferring these the data of data subjects. In this case, data subjects are actually the individuals whose personal information is being transferred. Okay. And according to this uh, report that I had read, they said that Facebook had been transferring these um, personal data on a very frequent and regular basis. So because of breaching of these um, GDPR guidelines, a fine of 1.2 billion was actually imposed. Okay, and it seems that almost um, around six months of time frame is given for the organization to kind of undo and rectify this process and also to avoid these violations. So um, Andrea, who was the president of the European Data Protection uh, uh, you know, Council Commission, they have, she has said that this is kind of a very big eye opener for other organizations and it's a lesson to be learned because you cannot afford to kind of severely breach the GDPR guidelines and if severely breached then there are really far reaching consequences that organizations would have to cope up with and 1.2 billion euros is actually no joke. So. Um, this is something that I wanted to share with you. So it's very important when organizations, uh, you know, it's important actually for organizations to kind of look into, you know, um, their work streams and check if they are really compliant, especially if they have to be compliant with certain guidelines and regulations. It's very important to look into it. And um, as a business analyst as well, you know, um, as I said in one of the previous videos, whenever we do kind of a risk or impact analysis for any solution or feature, we mostly kind of, the team is actually so, um, you know, um, gone used to and accustomed to kind of first targeting the technical risks. And yes, that's important. But what is even more important is that the product team, the manager, the business analyst, and all the other stakeholders, actually sit down while the technical team is doing a technical risk analysis the product team needs to kind of look at all the other risks which is like legal risks and the you know ethical risks and the financial risk the business risk that is involved with, involved with building a solution or a feature and i've given some information on these risks so if you want to take a look at what that those risks are you can click on the link that i'm going to provide in the description box so um, this was some information that I wanted to share with you. Hope that this was little informative to you. So if you like this video, please do give this a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe to this video. And also don't forget to share your feedbacks. Thank you.